I, I reckon. I reckon this result will probably, um, you know, bear in mind to Austin next week because that's where we will be for round 18 and the penultimate so round of the championship where we've already been crowned our champion and obviously tomorrow night I th uh, I think I'm pretty sure F4 will crown their champion tonight with as Kaskin. Uh if he does win the championship tonight congratulations to you uh, Kaskin for winning F4. We'd like to see you in Jesus season. As we heading on to the final lap as Devo is just purely run away. He has a 12 second gap over Connor Myers who's going and gets second with Sam. Oh, speed demon goes from roof on Davey. Uh, Davey is now struggling with that Oh, what Davey like? As a uh, Ferrari speed demon is going to be all over him. That. I don't want to get out of this battle, but it's very close at the back of the pack and I'll see that near the end of the race. But that is a really smoky gearbox of speed demon. He's trying his high out to get that place for two extra yeah. points. And uh, it's yeah, not, not a lot of light where the result. It's not a question where Speedin will finish. <laughs> he will it's lose. All the Here we go. Speedin's gonna go for it. That's the inside. The baby is off by slightly into the break zone now. Baby broke a little bit later than Speed Demon. There's contact as they turn in, and Speed Demon managed to get the move done out of the corner. With some smoke into Gears by Davis Vision saying, "Have that, uh, you Mercedes." <laughs> And <laughs> like, players have definitely gone on there. Yeah, this will probably be the worst uh, decision. Um, the worst decision like there by GSY Davy. They came in for some fresh tyres. Probably the option tyres he would have uh, lasted, but the driver of, of the moment, the world champion, coming around that final corner, Esteve both wins <laughs> the cool. GP3 Grand Prix of Abu Dhabi. Oh, as contact! A, on a, as a... Well, Estivo is just saying, I'm a champion, woo, yay, 25 points, Conor is going to get P2 with Sanster, the surprise driver, he's going to get P3, he's on the podium for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, what a drive from Sanster. So Mr. Estivo is going to get 8th ahead of, like just tagging ninth place in the end. So, second place was probably most likely is going to be during for next week. Uh, I'm presuming it's. I think Mac Manaki, I think it is secure tonight. I'm not too sure, but if not, it goes on to Abu Dhabi. Ne uh, not Abu Dhabi. Uh, Austin next week. As uh, we'll get the potent contenders in. So, um, how, are we all probably agreeing that. Uh, Samster is the driver of the day. I'd probably go with that in the end now, yeah. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking of Steve Hill. Steve had a good one to go. Well, you're going to go with Steve Hill, but I'm going to go with Samster, so Samster is. I'll go with Samster as well. It is the driver of the score and three for Abu Dhabi, so there you have it. Yeah, we so win. We just overvoted you. We overvoted right. you crazy. Um, we're going to start with you, um, our newly crowned world champion, Estivo. What a race. Uh, first lap instant, you get caught off it, you lost your fr uh, front wing. Uh, it definitely changed your strategy there a bit. Some drive to come through that field and win this Grand Prix tonight. How was it, it, how was it out there for you tonight? Well, it didn't change my strategy too bad, because I was going to do four option stints anyway. I decided that early on, so just meant I had to quickly just dive back in for the primes. It wasn't too bad, the moss was lagging a bit, but it was alright with the options, I knew I always had the pace anyway, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah, we we actually saw the proper moss uh, was having his connection issues, uh, we were going to wait till after 20 laps to see how it was, uh, and then we were going to ask him to force him to retire uh, from the Grand Prix. But, um, does it explain your thoughts on that first lap? It was pretty manic. Um... I have no idea what happened. Literally no idea. It's just cars everywhere. A car pulled out of my way and Andy Coy was going really slowly and I just crashed it. There's nothing I could have done. I just crashed straight into the back of him and lost my front wing. But I have no idea what happened. There was just cars everywhere. Um, looking forward to Austin next week and obviously tonight you, you said yourself earlier on only limited practice and only 20 minutes worth of practice and trying to get yourself ready for this Grand Prix. Uh, Austin next week, are you, you going to have plenty of time on your hands for Sunday night's F1 race? 
yeah, I'm going to put practice in this week because obviously it makes my life run out so I couldn't really practice anyway. And um, so I've got, got it back now finally so I can actually practice rocks often. I need it for F1. I think my pace is alright around there so I'll have to wait and see. Well, congratulations to you on a very uh, interesting race from you, Steve. Oh, congratulations. Uh, moving on to you, uh, second place, uh, Connor Rice. Um, again, some drive. Um, you had to avoid all that uh, collision on the first lap. Uh, easy yourself, but um, good call there. You made your uh, options on the first stint longer than anyone else. Um, Ozzy, was you surprised by that? Yeah, I was pretty much surprised by the overall pace. I should keep up. I think it's the top four or five, the opening stint, and then it felt like I had a real chance of winning that I made. I don't know if you saw me a mistake on coming in for my second, no, my third stint. Just completely ran wide into the pit entry and like lost me like 10 seconds. And so I think I could possibly could have won that, but it was pace as usual was. And um, I'm pet everyone else's. Uh, just into that dying seconds, then um, would you say? You probably sensed in second place was on the cards. Uh, do you know that uh, GSY Davy was going to have no tyres towards the end on his prime? I wasn't sure. I wasn't. I was either expecting to do it again, like a lap after me, or keep going and let go. So I was like, okay, I might have a chance. And luckily, I did. Welcome to Austin next week, uh, where it's going to be uh, another 100% race distance and tyre wear is going to be pretty high for you. Uh, is it? That you can get another strong result because um, you look like you, you'd be closing that gap to third place where Mr. Stevo is. Are you looking for third place towards the end of the Grand Prix? Uh, season? Sorry, not Grand Prix, season. Um, <laughs> which my aim because I think RD and obviously Stevo are too far ahead. I mean, my main objective is to finish above Chris. And, um, luckily, he didn't score many points and Critical didn't either because he had an accident, so it's getting there. Well, congratulations on your second race, Connor. It's a surprise uh, result there from you. Uh, nice to see you up there as well. Uh, we come to you, Samster. Um, there's no question that you probably surprised myself, my co-commentator, and the first steward here tonight. Um, were you surprised by your race tonight? Uh, yeah, definitely. I wasn't looking forward to this at all. It looked like on the opening stint, it looked like you had the better pace over your teammate. Um, but then obviously when you got past him, you were pulling away from him. But it's considerable yeah. margin. Um, it just like it came out from it just came out from nowhere, Samster. And only you can tell us that. Where did that come from? <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Um, really obviously, uh, uh, obviously there was a poll. Uh, I asked the viewers who was watching the stream uh, who, if they had to pick one driver, who would it be of this Grand Prix? Unfortunately, that it all went to uh, Smithical, but obviously because he's um, spun it. Uh, my driver of the day was you, because you were considerably wearing you, uh, wearing us. Uh, looking to Austin next week. Um, are you going to perform like that again for us in Abu Dhabi? Um, awful. Never know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably might surprise us all. Um, and that is it from GP3. Um, obviously, you've got the F5, which is XRL Bernie and Jamie 253, as well as this third steward will be racing tomorrow night, which is Crazy Fish 1234 in the Ferrari, where they tackle Abu Dhabi. And you've got tier 6 with F1 X, uh, F1X Speed and XRL Michaels, I believe. Uh, yeah. um, the commentating on the tier six, we'll already be doing fifty percent, I believe. In um, yeah, yeah. So they're not going to be doing hundred percent. There were um, suggestions they wanted to do hundred, so yeah. obviously um, they couldn't do it. And then you got the classics with myself and Wes will be there on Saturday to bring you the final round of the uh, the classics league. Before Sunday, there will uh, be the F1 division to tackle the uh, Austin track it of the USA. And before we all be back next week as well. Uh, hopefully I will be in the commentary box. If not, I don't know when you will see me again. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I won't be up for too long. So it's been myself, Michael Skinner, with Wes Wickens. Yep. And the first steward tonight for the Zabby Zabby Grand Prix, Crazy Fish. Yep. And the three podium containers. We will see you all next week for Austin. Bye-bye.